Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we've got another unboxing video to go and make. You can see from this bit of video footage now my quality of recording is not absolutely brilliant. Um, I record all my videos on my phone or on my iPad and the audio is not great. The lighting is average. The camera is also not brilliant. So I thought it was time for an upgrade and I found a really, really good camera for us to use on the channel. It was really cheap as well. I will link it down in the description if you want to get one for yourself. And here it is. We're going to be unboxing it today. Whenever I get new technology on the channel or a new video game or anything like that, I do always go and unbox it. So let's get out the scissors and see what we have. Okay, so I have taken one of the labels off, uh, but the other one is just on the other side. So I'm going to open it from this side. We're just going to cut it down there with the scissors, just nice and gently, just in case I do have to return it. Hopefully, everything should be hunky dory. And then we're just going to cut it across the top there. And let's go ahead and open it up. I'm not very good at unboxing videos. I'll be a lot better at this when we actually get this camera on the go. Now I should mention, um, it's obviously a massive box. And that's it next to my head. It isn't just a camera. This is a whole package deal. It does come with a tripod, a lighting thing. It has a mic with it. Everything like that. It's an absolutely awesome package. Uh, it's going to be perfect for what I need. So that is why it is so massive. And... Hopefully it should make videos like this unboxing a lot easier. So in the future, it should be a lot better. But, here we go. Obviously, it's not the easiest thing to show in the world on the camera. But there we go. It is a box full of goodies in there. We get all the usual bubble wrap. And there is a bunch of things. You can see just the tripod is right there. I'm not sure what this is. I think that could be the mic. Um, but we'll go. Whoop, something did fall out just there. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out each item individually. Um, there's obviously all the wires and stuff we need. That is actually the light right there, um, which is going to be used to light my face up instead of this light that I have going on here. Uh, so it should look a bit more professional. Uh, but there is the camera itself. It is a Canon Vixia HF R800. It's an absolutely awesome camera. 1080p recording at 60 frames per second. Uh, and it does have audio and visual stability built into it. So um, for if you use like your phone camera and you shake your hand a little bit, you will see the shaking. Whereas with this, if your hand's a little bit shaky, it will actually sort of auto edit that out. So it will produce a lot more still image. And the same with audio. If your voice goes up and down quite a bit, it will automatically compress the audio and it will make it a lot more smooth, so it will all be at the same volume. Uh, so I'll go ahead and unbox this, and I'll show you each thing individually. Okay, so this, yeah, this is the mic right here, and this is a phantom mic. Now, one thing I just wanted to point out to you guys, uh, if you do decide to go and buy this camera just on its own, and you want a mic for it, it does have a built-in mic, which we'll see in a moment. But you do need a phantom mic. So for those of you who don't know what a phantom mic is, it's basically a microphone that has its own built-in power system. So you obviously have to plug it into the camera. But if you have like a little lapel mic or just a microphone that you can plug in to like a headset, if you try and plug that into the camera, it won't work. You need one that has its own standalone power system. And this mic here that comes with it does have its own power system so it is a phantom mic and it will work perfectly but the uh camera itself does actually have microphones on the front of it right in front of the lens camera so i'll show you that in a minute but let's go ahead and get the microphone out and see what it looks like it does look pretty good i'll take it out of the plastic packaging and i'll show you it there uh, we obviously have the clip to clip it on the top 
This is the microphone itself here and we do have the furry cover that just slips over here. So that is all hunky dory, it looks pretty good. Uh, you can see it has the on off button right here. Um, and you can also have it for 90 degree audio or you can have it a bit wider, it will go to 120 degree field of audio capture. The next thing we have is the ultra wide lens. Now if you're going to buy this camera you really do need to get this lens with it. Uh, it's a 25 mil, uh, sorry a 52 mil lens and it is basically it's just a wide lens. So if you are a YouTuber who's going to make videos like this or a vlogger or anything like that Basically, whatever you're going to use this camera for, I would recommend you get the wide-angle lens. It's really uh, it's really cheap, actually. Um, obviously, I got it in this package deal, but I've had a look at these just standalone, and they're pretty good. So, let's go ahead and get that out. And I'll show you what that looks like. It does come in this little leather pouch, which I'll just show you there. It comes in a nice little leather pouch, which is really cool. And then if we go ahead and open up the bag, you can see the lens is just in there. And that is the lens. It comes with the lens cap on there. Um, obviously, you want to keep the lens cap and you don't want to touch the lens. So I'm not going to get it out of this plastic. I'll just show you it like that. But that is the wide angle lens. The next thing that is really important that you do need with this is the battery charger now i think it comes with two batteries this camera uh but you do get the battery charger with it is rechargeable so you don't have to worry about buying batteries for this thing um but obviously you do need the battery charger there basically it gives you two so you can have one working on the camera and whilst you're recording a video you can charge the other one if it starts to go flat you can just swap the battery over and put the old one on charge right there so let's go ahead and get that out it's very simple it is basically just a battery charger you can see it right there um, I'm sure you guys have all seen battery chargers in the past it does come with um, instructions but it is very simple um, I hold it that way the battery just plugs in in there and obviously there's a cable and you just plug it into the wall and press charge and yeah it's just like any other charger but i just thought i'd show it obviously it's an unboxing video so this is one of the batteries right here thought i'd just show you that it does come with two batteries one plugged into the camera and then this extra spare battery right here the next thing we've got is the HDMI cable. It does actually come with a HDMI cable and you can plug this into your computer if you're doing live streaming or anything like that or you can use it as a webcam as well. Um, I'm probably not going to use it for that so much because I don't do a whole lot of uh, live streaming but for videos and stuff if you want to get the video straight onto your computer, stream it to your computer uh, maybe you're doing an overlay on a video then this is really useful you can just plug the camera straight into your computer or into your tv as well and yeah hdmi cable most people have hdmi cables but you do get one with it so that's always really good the next thing we get which is actually really cool is uh, we get three different filter lenses um, so we've got a pink one a high definition one and a yellow one it appears and these are basically filters so if you're recording a sunset maybe it's a little bit of a boring image and you want it to look a bit more pinky and make it look a bit more exciting you can put the pink lens on right there and it will make it look fantastic so we'll go ahead and open this one up and again we've got another little leather pouch just like that it's a nice little leather pouch and you just open that up and it has all of the lenses in there. I'm not going to get them out of the plastic right now. But that is a really cool little thing. They all come with these little leather pouches. So you can keep it all together. And then you can just button it back up there. So we've got some lens filters on there. So that's going to make it look a whole lot nicer. The next thing we do have the um, 
the light here which does clip onto the top of the camera and that actually comes with a couple of different filters as well you can see the attachment here that's obviously the light and you get these filters so you can have some different lighting going on if you want some different colors maybe you want a sharper light on you or maybe you want the pink one that just makes the light a little bit less and um, it doesn't it doesn't reflect off your skin as much so it's a lot of it's a lot smoother light if you will um so let's go and open that one up we are slowly building to the camera itself um i do actually need some scissors for this because we got the stupid little tabs on the back there the easiest way to do with these is just stick your um so what i just did there is just stick your thing in the back and then press down and pull it forward and it'll pull the tab out little tip for you there when you're doing unboxing videos i'm trying to get as much of this on camera as i can but it's not always the easiest and then they never want to actually come out of the box either there we go we've got another box it's just box inside box when it comes to unboxing so we've got the clip attachment right there, we've got the camera itself and the filters, so I'm not going to take it out of the bubble wrap, uh, but you can see just there, it's very simple, just plugs into the camera and yeah, you're hunky dory, you've got a light then, so if it's dark, if it's night time, you can then... Um, Get shed some light on yourself so you can see what you're videoing so the next one is quite exciting we've got the tripod here um, I don't know how tall this tripod actually is uh, you do get all these features on the back so you've got all the locking and all that malarkey you've obviously got the attachment for the camera that's the whole point of it um, it's 18 inches off the ground and it can carry up to five pounds. I'll show you it right there. Um, they're basically all of the... Um, I can't think of the wording now. But basically it's it's the load that it can carry. The width uh, there, 57 inches. And all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get it out of here. So I'm going to need my trusty scissors once again pull the bottom tab out so just stick it in there and pull it out and there you go that's the tab out let's go ahead and get the tripod out and again this is comes in a little pouch as well it's kind of like your PE bags from school and it does have the nice uh, logo on the other side so let's go ahead and undo that and we'll get the tripod out it does come in some plastic. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic right now. But there we go. That is the tripod right there. Obviously it's got all the attachments and all that good stuff. And it does actually have the lever right there. So you can get some nice smooth transitions when you're videoing as well. And obviously the final thing that we're going to be looking at is the camera itself. That's the most important part of the entire video. So let's go ahead and just get this thing out. This actually has a nice quick release tab on there, which is going to be absolutely super. And we've got the oops, instruction book on the back. We'll just set that to one side. We don't need that. And there we go. That is everything in there. That's the camera itself. So let's go ahead and get that out. You do obviously get all the charging and all that kind of thing. I'm just going to leave that in the box because no one's really interested in that. But there it is. The camera itself. Absolutely super. Um, it does have the flip out uh, thingy there. And you can actually twizzle that round to the front just like that. So yeah, as I was saying, you do have the little flip round camera. So if you're filming sort of face on like that you have the camera uh, screen right next to you so you can actually see what you're recording uh, it's much like your phone camera you've obviously got the camera at the top and then you have your screen underneath it when you're like in selfie mode it's basically the same thing as that 
Um, or if you are filming someone else, you can have the camera forwards and obviously just film them like that and you can see what you're filming. And in there, we've got all of the attachments. We've got the HDMI port. And we've got audio and uh, another one I can't see there. And then you've got the slot right there for your for your memory chip, which you do actually get one of those with it. I've got it just right here. So you do need the Ultra um, SanDisk right here. If you have just the regular one, it won't work. So make sure you do have that one. Um, I believe the camera itself does actually come with one. And you do get this one with the package deal that I bought as well. It's the 64 gig. Um, so that's quite a lot of storage. That's more than enough. And um, you do also get this little um, a little cloth with it, obviously, just to clean your lenses and all that kind of thing. They usually throw those in there. And that is where your battery plugs in just there. You can see it just slots in that side and you're golden. So it's easy to just swap the batteries in and out if you are running low on battery. Uh, but that is the entire unboxing right there. Again, for those of you who are wondering, this is the Canon Vixia HF R800. Um, you can buy the camera on its own if you want to. Um, if you want to get the package deal, which I've just unboxed for you now, I will leave a link in the description below to the one that I bought it from. It was absolutely incredible. It got here in about two or three days, a lot quicker than I was expecting. And it should be a great camera. Uh, hopefully now I can actually make some really good quality videos for you. That is really the main reason I bought the camera for you, as well as storage, because those of you who video on your phone or on your iPad will know that video takes up a lot of storage, uh, so you do tend to run out of storage and then you can't video, and it's just a whole hassle. So I thought if I get a proper camera recorder, it's a really good quality one, the quality will look a lot better, the audio will look a lot better, and... Um, I won't have any problems with running out of storage. So that's why I bought it and I thought you guys might enjoy this unboxing video as well. If you did enjoy the unboxing then don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Uh, and let me know as well if you did actually go ahead and purchase one of these cameras after this video. So that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.